Good evening. Forgive me if I cannot be present with you tonight as I strongly wished. Zahoni is part of my heart since when I have seen the very first images filmed by Alicia. I felt, let us say, like Zahoni was a place where the whole world gathered at a difficult time in its history. So let me express, first of all, my warmest regard to the major of Zahoni, Mr. Laszlo F. Mexi. And let me say some words, some few words, on the film that is now traveling along the borders and is to be shown in Zahoni. The film shows the war through the highs veiled in tears of women and children, of those with, we did not want any war, we did not even believe it possible and found themselves immersed in it, as if the world had fallen on them. The movie speaks about those who fight in their own way without weapons, a war that they do not see but feel that has entered them, has changed everything and tries to steal even their soul, their future, their beauty, their innocence. A war that goes so far as to transform the landscape, the horizon, the color of the wheat and the sky and the meaning of words. This is what Gordon shows us, that there is another front, there are many other borders which pass through Zahoni and through many other unknown cities which unite distant places. And there are borders that cross our hearts, our thoughts. They divide the good from the heavy, the present from the future. Boundaries that can only be crossed with the eyes of the heart as Gordon does with the purity of a mother's gates singing them, as happens in one of the most intense and painful moments of the film, singing them like a lullaby to help us to cross the darkness of the night. There is a music in the hair, thorns blossom, leaves fall, he who does not know love does know the pain, the song says. The good, do elsewhere we let him enter. I hope this film help us to build paths of peace instead of borders on war. And I thank, I thank Zahoni for being a place of peace and welcome. I thank you, really, from the deepest of my heart. Thank you.